All right, guys, welcome back to uh, Tabletop Nerdcast. I am Mike, and this is a continuation of our Age of Rebellion Galactic Youth campaign. So for those of you that are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Our main content is always going to be our tabletop role-playing games. Uh, Rick is joining us this evening, and so is Percy. And Rick runs our D&D uh, aspect of the channel, and Percy is running our Legend of the Five Rings. So with that said, guys, uh, we are going to jump right back into this for those people who are on the stream active with us tonight. And um, last time on Galactic Youth, what happened, guys? Mom's alive. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> all right. So with that said, for those of you that don't know what that's all about, you have to go back and watch the last episode. So... You've heard down the hallway this kind of knocking on a metallic desk. And it sounds like a metal hand knocking on the desk. And you also hear a couple of other voices that are sitting out there. And you hear the holler down the hallway of Coruscant Security. Javel, come up front, please. And obviously, Javel looks back at you guys wide-eyed and says, all right. Out the window, out the hall, get down there, just get out of here, I'm going to go distract him. And he turns to quickly walk back out the <coughs> office door and head back towards the... Is the door a sliding door or is it like a doorknob door? No, it's just a standard old-fashioned doorknob door. Perfect. Is it, there's no like security and he, to get into it? No, he doesn't close it behind him fully, but he doesn't just leave it gaping wide open either. Do, could we prop a chair in front of it? To well, block it? Will it open? It Which opens way? out into the hallway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I, I think it's time to go. I'm thinking it's time to hit the road, so I'm yep. going to head so, down uh, the what? direction he, and I find the window and Jimmy it open. It's pretty much open as it is. There's not really a whole lot of, you know, force that you're going to have to do to do to do this. So now he said he had some nice speeders, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to. Rec do I recall that one of them? Uh, you can take a look over the lot because you can definitely see there are some that are really well maintained and then there's some that are just not so maintained that kind of are like okay here's when somebody just needs something kind of routine like us and here's when somebody really needs a good do we see vehicle. the speeder that picked us up no you do no. not oh you mean the one that picked us up way back at the uh -huh. prison do I? Uh, I'm I'm looking for one that I think is going to be fast and potentially somewhat armored, or give me a and does not have a snitch droid in it. <laughs> That's right. Give no me a uh, perception check, please, and this just make this an easy check because obviously you kind of know your vehicles. You're a mechanic to to you know some degree here. Triumph. And a success. It is a night of triumph. <laughs> Good lord. Is. All right. Um, so, yes, you do happen to, as you're looking out that window just before you exit his office, you do see a, what looks to be almost a brand new, state-of-the-art, high-end speeder. And at the same time, that manufacturer's symbol is sitting on what looks like a key card on Jovell's desk. <laughs> That's your tryout. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm going to grab... I, I think I found a ride. Come on, man. Let's go. And I grabbed the key card. And I'm going to be out the window. All right. So are you following him? Yep. Okay. So you guys pop out the window... And, you know, this is only meters away from you guys. And you go and you kind of hit the key card and you hear this doot, 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 doot. And all of a sudden the window opens up, the door opens up on it because this is a fully enclosed speeder. And at that moment, you turn around as you're climbing into the vehicle. And all of a sudden, you just hear Jovell's voice going, not that one! <laughs> Why? <laughs> and all of a sudden, the security guards and the cops just kind of, they turn and they start pouring out the side of the, the building. Oh, gosh, how many? There are approximately six. Uh, Two droids and four humans. 
what's the range? Danger close. <laughs> Short range? This would be as close to engaged as possible without being an engaged, so yes. Are we Short behind range. the building? Um, you're right there and his office is right gotcha. out the okay, side okay, of the okay, building. Okay, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. this is not a big building as I described. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Go. Fight. Okay. All right, so... Wait, that's uh, my job. Yeah, I'm going to... You get us going, and I'm going to point my uh, ionic blaster at the droids, or just at the general, you know, mayhem. I guess it's just a... a I'm giving you an action because you guys were, you know, you guys knew you were doing this, and they're okay. reacting to a, bu oh, yeah. a beat. So I'm giving you an action before if we do an initiative. If you a power check. cell with an ion blast, will it do like a shockwave? Not really. It'll just power it down. It just shorts it out. It doesn't explode it. Okay. So what exactly we're trying to do here? Uh, short out the uh, droids. Um, all right. So you're gonna pick one of the droids and go after the, the droid. That's fine. Okay. Um. <laughs> I would, uh, because of the situation and because of the fact that you're, you know, having to deal with this because you weren't expecting the vehicle to make noise or Jovell to almost kind of sell you out because you're stealing his vehicle. I'm going to so upgrade I'm so your difficulty if here. I don't, if I don't. So it's short range, which is... It'd be one purple. So it's one, purple, one red. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to hurt you any. Uh, three success. Okay. Um, and two threats. Yes, I see him. <laughs> All right. I know he saw him. Just so, got to clarify yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I, two that, that dice rolled directly in front of me it, it, for it a did. reason, right? <laughs> okay, so okay, so the Iron Blaster does 10, crit 5, uh, disorient 5. All right. So you don't, uh, do you have any advantages to activate your disorient or your crit or anything it else like that? It doesn't, um, it, actually, I should, Did you roll advantages? It should be 13. I didn't roll any advantages. advantages. Okay. Mm. All right, so the ion blaster does go off, um, and it's a total of 13. So you just watch one of these droids as it the bolt connects to him. You just watch one of these droids just kind of, and just almost come to a thudding halt. It just crumples in its own little... In its own little world. Good one. <laughs> and with that, now it's initiative time. You guys can roll cool. Well, he still had his. Oh, we just had one action, or he has an action too. You just had one action to be able to do what you need to do. Okay. Oh, only one of us did. Yep. Oh. All right. And we're rolling cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two success, two advantage. Two success. <clears throat> All right. As it is in true fashion here, because you guys had had just kind of this ultimate quick surprise to them, um, it is a PC slot first. Yeah, we're going to key card, punch it. <clears throat> All right. Still got to power this thing up, right? That's the key card. Okay, so we're going to go through the power cycling. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. And who's... So you're powering it up. Are you going to do anything else? Does it take, uh, how long does it take to power this thing up? Uh, it's going to take an action to fully power it up before you can take off. Gotcha. Okay, I guess I'll close the door. All okay. right, so you're going to close the door behind you? Yep. Ranga, you've already made it in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He so went first. He opened the second door. Second PC slot. Second PC slot. Okay. Um... <laughs> Push this button. It's powered on. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh... Okay, so he powered it up. Can I push the button to make it go, or do I... You can try piloting it if you want to pilot it. Um, yes. Yes? <laughs> you have three agility. You have more agility than even I do. Then, okay. We'll, nope, we'll not those dice. Ahead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to... Uh, yeah, we're going to try to fly it out. All right, this is, this is honestly just a, an easy piloting check, because you're not trying to do anything. If you were describing to me that you were trying to take evasive maneuvers... Uh, one success, one advantage. Okay. So you do, you're able to actually lift this, this speeder up off the ground and actually and start taking off. And it is now an NPC turn. You use your maneuver to punch it. Okay, I use my maneuver to punch it. Okay, you're starting to take off. Okay. You're accelerating and you're starting okay, to get, gotcha. get okay. up to, an, uh, to a range band. I'm, I'm okay. perfectly okay with that. So, droid number two. 
turns around and fires off a little arm blaster cannon at the at the vehicle. Now, this particular vehicle, I will give you the fact that because this is a personally owned high-end vehicle, it will have an armor rating of one, but it will be very similar stats to the previous vehicle that you had in the line. Sounds, yeah. Okay. Now, in but the strain and the hull will be at seven. So it has less armor. Than it has the one, one armor. You didn't have armor on that other one. I thought it had two soak or whatever. It only had, no. It had it had five system strain and five hull, but and not armor. It was a standard cab. Gotcha. Okay. Kind of kind of vehicle. This one is a little bit of a personal vehicle. This would be like having a presidential um, okay. Cadillac. Okay. <laughs> it's got a little a little bit of armor plating. Doesn't know who he's messed over in the past. Okay. So, all of a sudden, you're starting to move forward, and this blast just kind of rocks up into the vehicle, or towards the vehicle. We're going to see if he strikes. I guess I'm glad I got rid of the other one. Would you guys like to upgrade him? No. I would like to upgrade him. I think he wants to hurt us. This isn't the GM against you guys. That's not how this That's works. The way I, play. I would too about that after the whole Tony Cupcake thing. <laughs> He's trying to kill all of us. <laughs> I already made it with Dewey. <laughs> and he convinced us to do it for him too. I know. <laughs> all right. So a blast of this this you know uh, droids you know cannon off of his arm just goes off and strikes into the bottom of this vehicle, and. All of a sudden, you start seeing the power flicker on this vehicle as this impact took place. Um, he did hit for um, five system strain. This is an ion blast that did come into this vehicle. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, he also did have the ability to connect with a critical. So we're going to see if a critical makes sense for what happens from a system strain perspective. Okay. Let's see if something sparks up or if Mr. Jovell's ride is actually a jalopy that looks good. <laughs> oh, that's not too, too bad. So it just kind of knocks you guys and it kind of rocks you guys sideways. Um, so as that's taking place, it will provide one setback for the next piloting check on this particular vehicle. Okay. It was just enough that maybe one of the sub-ions drives sitting below it just kind of shuttered on and off for a minute, and it just kind of rocked you guys around um, one side to another. And the three officers that are there at that point are also lighting up fire. But with their particular weapons at this point, I'm just going to tell you, they're just kind of making scar marks that are sitting down below. The droids were really there to be able to take on and handle any other type of droid or mechanical kind of scenario. Um, so we are now back up at the top of the PC turn. Okay. Who hmm. would like to take this? Again, you guys have just lifted off. It kind of rocked you guys a little bit. <clears throat> and from down below, you hear Jovell, They're stealing my ride! God, what the... <laughs> Stop that! Your cops do something! <laughs> How far away are they? Uh, they are at um, just at the point of short becoming medium. Because you guys have just kind of lifted and started to creep forward as you're speeding up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to use a uh, move. You're going to try and use move. Uh-huh. I would, uh, is that a force power that you actually have? It is, sir. All right. So what are you going to try and use move on? The guy in charge. The guy in charge. To do what? To lift him off of the ground. <laughs> to confuse his soldiers so they will not shoot anymore. Well, shoot, confuse the droid. 
I hope the Druid's also in like under this guy. Right, but he's not going to care as much, I wouldn't think, because he's a Druid. No, but I, I can't, like, so I can't do, like, fine manipulation. I don't have that ability yet. Yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I can't, like, point his gun away from us. No, but if you lift him, that But I can lift edge. this guy in front of the gun <laughs> so that the Druid can't shoot because, well, his sergeant is in front of it. So that is what you would like to that do. That is what I would like Let's to do. Let's roll this up and see how this works. Okay. I got a lot of dark side I points. How many dark side points did you get? Three, baby. All right. Um, which you're going to use. Which is enough for me to activate, lift something of a silhouette one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so you are able to kind of pry this sergeant free, or who looks like he's in charge, kind of free off the ground, and he's like, what the... Yeah, and, and all no, of a sudden, and everybody's we've like... We've got tinted windows, they don't know what's happening. <laughs> and, and, and the two other humans and Jovell almost fall silent at that very moment going, I don't see a jetpack! <laughs> now what, what's going on with him? I've got one pip left, and I've got a range upgrade here. Uh-huh. So he's going a medium distance into the sky. <laughs> Take off <laughs> so now. Yeah. And it is a PC turn. So this guy just starts floating and up, and they're all looking at him like... The, the, the My goal is going to be to maintain him with us. <laughs> Drag him along? Yes. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm going to try to hold him there. All right. Don't ask me what my plan is when we <laughs> land, but that's my goal. So people are going to be watching some, you know, boy, you're going to, and you have to roll this every round? Yes, yes, he does. So, he's elevated up into the air, probably just about 15, 20 meters away from you, tops at that point, and he's kind of flailing around like he has no idea what's going on. The guys that are down on the ground are looking at him like, You got a jetpack, you fool! Go after him! <laughs> <laughs> the, droid, the droid stops. There was no jetpack issued on this assignment. <laughs> it's now PC turn. Alright, and I'm gunning it, which is uh, easy or... If you, if you do the... Uh, what is... I can't remember the name of the maneuver. I know I did it earlier. Full throttle? No, no that's full a throttle talent. is a talent, um, but you have it's a. a um, it's not punch it. I think it might punch be punch it. It, okay. it is I punch think it. Punch it is you pick the net like the speed you want to be at. Like we're at speed one right now, and it's whatever you pick that you want to get to is your difficulty check. Okay. Is it a difficulty check? I thought you just took strain equal to the difference. I thought it was a difficulty check, I'm so I'm gonna sure I'm gonna go with it's a okay. difficulty check okay. rather than strain out your vehicle. Okay, okay. that's fair. So because you're trying just, to pilot it to that point. Yeah. Yeah. So, how much strain? We took five strain. You said. Yeah. You took ignoring all armor. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm gonna need. So to we're at that. capacity. No, you're. You this vehicle we have has two seven. more. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This vehicle has seven. Because you had asked about the previous yeah, vehicle yeah. stats. But I need to fix that. So, um, okay. So it's gonna be two. Yeah, right uh, now we need to take off. And I was. Nope. One advantage. So one advantage. Maintain speed, I guess. So. You know, no, it's just standard acceleration. You're just not yeah. able to, like, really, truly... Yeah, we it's still got some, move a range. It's got thing. some foreign controls on there. You're you're just now accelerating from speed zero up to, truthfully, speed one at this point. So you move one range band. And my advantage is going to uh, give an extra uh, setback to the uh, droid. All right. So, <clears throat> well, the thing is, is that you moved another range band. So you moved technically into... A long range. I thought we were in short range with it. Oh, I when you lifted off, I said you got up to a oh, medium okay, range. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So the thing is, is you just lurched forward just enough that an ion blaster cannot reach you. Right. So although the vehicle's kind of shaky at this point because it's still spitting and sputtering from having that hit, and you've got a, you know, you've got an ion pad or, or you know a, a repulsor pad that's kind of flaking in and out on you at this point, it is still moving forward. So there's still more blaster bolts and everything else that's going on at the same time, 
but they're really, again, because this is an armored vehicle, it's just standard small arms fire is not going to do much to this thing. So it's just pinging off around you more mm -hmm. than anything else. You're not seeing any additional warning lights or anything go on at that point. All right. So again, you've got you've been able to lurch this vehicle forward. Are you maintaining this? We're gonna see. I got one light too dark. Just drop him. Now this is going to be very important for the story. Are you accelerating forward or are you accelerating up and away? Oh, that is important. <clears throat> um, well, I was pretty much just going at an angle, not just up. Okay, but so up and away. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> Mr. A.A. A. Ron, what are we doing? I need to fix this vehicle, so I need you to pilot. Uh, yeah, but do I open the door and bring him in as a hostage? What do we want him for? Who knows? <laughs> Leverage, dude. You didn't want me to have my droid. I don't want you to have your commander. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got. You know what? Dark side points were rolled for the last one. Three dark side points. I'm feeling angry. You're feeling angry. I'm feeling angry at the Empire, at everything that's going on, at how much we've been chased. I'm tired. I'm worn out, and I'm pissed. I'm going to spend those two dark side points and the light side to lift him up another medium range and let go. Hmm. All right, Good Mr. riddance to bed rubbish. All right, Mr. Conflict Zone. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. I'm already up four for the session. <laughs> you don't go the other direction, do you? I would that I could, <laughs> but I can't, so I shan't. <laughs> I see. When we get into situations where I can use good force powers, I will. <laughs> mm, okay. He, so he, he gone. He, you, you. I mean, because we're at long range from you, the ground. You're struggling to maintain this. You're angry. You're kind of, you're kind of shaking. You're focused on the front of the vehicle, just trying to see what you can do. And it's like, hey, Ron, I need you to help me pilot this thing. I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you just kind of almost zone out, and things just, you're surrounded. You're swelled by this just absolute frustration at what's going on the loss of Thuey the chases that are going on the fact you know again with Thuey that you ended up having to watch him get you know killed mm -hmm. uh, di disruptor and then stabbed on top of it to kind of finish the job um, you got you couldn't save him you couldn't help <clears throat> out the situation and just these all these things just keep mounting and mounting and mounting and you just feel that extension and you feel this person in your grasp and just like a child with a tantrum you throw him yep and his body just ragdolls and you can see as you're looking out this this window on the side of the speeder as the speeder is lurching forward and trying to trying to gain a little bit more momentum <laughs> <laughs> and you just see this body fall and it ragdolls and falls on top of one of the speeders that's at the end of the um, at the, the end of the lot here and his body just almost crushes as he impacts on that speeder his number two best speeder <laughs> would you like to flip a point for that no, no. All right. right after this one <laughs> and you're just absolutely fuming at this point point. and as you're pulling away and looking the other direction you're seeing just Jovell argue back and forth with, uh, with the other two humans that are standing there the other two um, cops that are standing there and the droid moving over towards where that other vehicle is and where the, the body of his sergeant fell. 
Now I'm going to flip this back over to you guys. What are you going to do at this point? <clears throat> I'm going home. Aaron, you need to fly. I need to try to fix this thing. I will do it. Are we still in like combat round? <clears throat> no, not at this point. You're really far enough so, out that it's... So I'll kind of main... You, the scene <clears throat> is kind of like you guys are pulling off and flying away further and further. Yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna go as... I'm going to go to one of those, like the lift. What, what level is our base on? Um, it was back on uh, 1413. Oh, it was on the same level. It was we were on, on the same okay, level that you guys were on. So I'm going to try go... to fix the strain. And I got three success and a. What damage. difficulty are you? Oh, what difficulty is that? it? Two? Uh, this is going to be a two. So I got three success and two threat. <laughs> All right. So again, you're kind of feeling this. You're just absolutely worn out yourself. I mean, you guys haven't slept all night. It was a night op that you guys were going through. You had constantly been trying to figure out where to go, what to do. You had walked like miles trying to chase down Tony Cupcake. Um, <laughs> hey, but those cupcakes kept us going. They it did. was the that sugar. sugar yes. <laughs> well, you're on the sugar crash, and you know. So, you you're just absolutely wiped okay um you're fumbling around under there and you know underneath the back seat down by the battery compartment and you're knocking stuff around and you're getting a few little shorting arcs so that will end up being too strained to to you personally okay um you are able to repair three of the system strain that's on the vehicle itself okay so all right um, so hey, aaron what are you doing at this point i'm kind of going toward a tube to go up to 1413 okay. again. And you're heading up and towards a tube, and all of a sudden on the, the vehicle, mm. one of the heads up displays just pops on, and it's Jovell. And he's like, What are you guys doing? I told you to leave, not take my vehicle. <clears throat> we are leaving. We had to get we had to get out of there, man. This was, was no the choice. only vehicle that had keys. So now it's a stolen vehicle. You know, realize that you're going to have half a Coruscant's under, underworld security and police looking for that vehicle. And it's not exactly not flashy. Why did you report it stolen? We would have given it back. You took it in front of the cops. Either I'm in on it or it's stolen. Oh, there is that. Well, then it uh, must be destroyed so that we can... Uh, oh, let us do not it. break my ship! <laughs> What are you going to give us in return? Hey, what do you suggest, the Jovell? <clears throat> I don't know. Park it somewhere. Find another way. It's a pretty ship. It's fun to drive. It would be interesting, though. <laughs> Look, you two. <laughs> I don't have time for this. And you can just see he's getting more and more. My parents would never let me drive. Wouldn't well, it be I'm interesting a... if your name began to appear next to the Rebels? Son, you don't even want to try that game. No, I don't think we... He hasn't done us any harm. We don't need to threaten him. Let's park his ship. Mm. He goes, you can park it, or I can park it. Let's take a choice. Oh, you can park it from here? Could you let us get to the tube and then... I could turn it sideways, open the door, and shake it around a little bit. Fire up the jammer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going to park my ship? Are you a fan of peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell has peanut butter got to do with it? Flip! <laughs> and the screen cuts off. <laughs> and down on the ground below you, unseen to your eyes, is Jovell screaming at a black screen. <laughs> Come! <laughs> but we do park it and then go a different way. <laughs> Because he's right, like we can be tracked in this car. If we keep stealing cars, we're just going to be tracked all the time. But our facial recognition, too. Right, we've got to change our faces. I punch Moraine. <laughs> <laughs> and you give me a black eye. But I've only got a broad of one. I barely feel it. And I've got a broad of three. <laughs> what? You were so stupid, man. I don't know what your problem I go is. to punch the ogre, but I gently caress the back of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, too. Let's keep moving. All right. So, yeah, you, we park it you guys do find it. another place, another alley that you pull it, and you pull and park. And the entire time the jammer's on, I'm assuming, at this point. Yes. And as you guys walk and exit from the vehicle, all of a sudden the vehicle powers back up, and you just see it take off and fly away. <laughs> And yes, you can only imagine how much screaming and hollering is taking place at this point. <laughs> we didn't 
didn't damage us. We didn't damage it at all. So where are you guys going? Right now, you're just at some random alleyway. Well, we probably would have gone up to 1413 because we did take a lift. So I would imagine we got back yeah, up. Yeah, I was flying toward the lift. I don't know if we had taken the lift or not before. I, I would. I, the way it was described to me, the way I felt that it was described, is that you guys would have kind of left this vehicle so prior would to it, getting So we would know whether or not you we You hadn't had a time up. to make it to the lift yet gotcha. in that okay, short yeah. exchange. <clears throat> No, and had you have entered that highway, you probably would have been pursued. Okay. Um, is there a cheap taxi? There are plenty of cheap taxis. <laughs> taxi. <laughs> All right, so this old ragtag thing just, just kind of flutters down in front of you. And there is a um another it, it looks like a young human uh probably no more than you know 20 21 oh, years old it's a manually piloted and uh um, how much to get through 413 1413 1413 huh well not sure uh i don't know if old betsy's gonna make it but uh we can try i'll tell you what if we make it it'll only be 50 credits I'm gonna start Me looking. Either. I'm gonna be looking at his uh, speeder. <laughs> Do I think well, I can you don't even want to touch his speeder. Uh -huh. It's nasty. <laughs> uh, you got slime in your uh, gyro the, coils. The seats have what, what looks like, um, you know, Star Wars substitute for duct tape. So we'll call it suck tape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stuck tape. <laughs> duct tape. All right. So I mean, it it looks like it's being held together just on a whim and a prayer. We will take it. Sounds good. All right, we'll hop yeah. on in, and then you How know, much? A couple of it. It's only credits. it's only fifty credits if we make it. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. All right. I like you people. And he just takes off, and all of a sudden, you know, you get you get about you know fifty or sixty meters up in the air, and you're starting to head towards the highway. Engine cuts out, and kicks back on. And, you know, so you kind of get these little <laughs> dips and nods and everything else going on during that same time frame. Um, I want to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make it up to 1413 and it is a very eventful ride i mean again every few minutes you just hit clunk and the thing will the thing will kind of wobble a little bit and then it'll raise back up and it'll keep going and you know you lose about 20 meters and then it does keeps he have flying parachutes up. no he does not <laughs> no he does not you have move power right <laughs> yeah but i can't move anything this big goes, so Are you silhouette three two uh, right, this is two. a silhouette two so he, he, you guys finally get up there, and the moment you kind of crest over the, the, the threshold, he kind of brings it forward as quickly as he can to get out of the vertical hall, uh, you know, highway. <laughs> comes, comes in and goes, all right, here, whew, we made it. <laughs> he goes, that was an adventure. That was kind of fun. <laughs> you know, that, uh, that Joe Bell character down here sold me this thing, and <laughs> man, this is the only way I can make a living in this economy. Well, it is uh, 350 credits to forget you dropped us here. What? I don't even know who you people are. Yeah. Thank you so much. I don't think I even made it to this level. You definitely did not. Well, that's some good business right there. I'll tell you what. If I never see you again, I'll gladly give you a ride. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> he didn't hear you. He's already. From, from this from thing is bomb, bomb. He's already No, I want him to be my personal driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! <laughs> oh, Betsy ain't gonna make it up here all the time. All right, so you we just go, like spending go, those uh, credits, don't you? We go back to base. I wanted to make sure nobody knew we came here. <laughs> so you guys have spent, and and again, this is there's a pretty good distance for you guys to get where you're I know. Going. Um, so you guys have spent quite a bit of time just kind of laying low and, you know, maybe moving up a block or two here or there and making sure you don't have the cops, you know, on this level alerted or, you know, the West End security or anything else that's, that's, that's pretty much chasing you. So you guys are getting, you know, hours are actually passing because you're trying to stay out of public transport, right? And again... Coruscant city levels are planetary sized. So this is taking quite some time for you guys to get where you need to. Um, but eventually, of course, you do kind of make it back to your, um, you know, what your your base. So where the rebels are operating, or the cell that you know of are operating out of. 
and as you guys go in, you're entering in through the uh, through the bay. Bronson kind of looks over and goes, Moringa, come on, buddy. What'd you bring for me? Uh, we uh, brought you um, coffee. Coffee. I don't think coffee was a deal. I uh, think you would want this coffee. <clears throat> what kind of coffee is it? Uh, we have to give it to you in your office. Well, my office is right here under the speeder. Okay. Because i got to fix this. Well, then let's go in the speeder, man. He looks at the speeder, and it's so I, uh, like an open cockpit speeder, and he goes, <clears throat> Sure, I'll humor you. <laughs> Climb on in. <laughs> so he gets in and sits down and goes, Okay, what did you bring me? I slapped down the disruptor pistol. And he looks over at the, the disruptor pistol. He goes, Okay, it's a pistol. Thought we agreed on a heavy weapon. This is a disruptor. A what? Disruptor. Uh, it disrupt blows up big. Yeah. Put Ooh. big hole in sheep. Okay. Huh. Let's see. I don't think we have anything like this around here. I haven't seen anything. Where? How did you come by a disruptor? <clears throat> and the moment he says disruptor, there's about eight mechanics that turn around and go, a what? <laughs> <laughs> so now you got this crowd looking at you at this point. Well, we wanted to meet in private, but okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, anyway, this, this disruptor this, was used to... Does to, this pay uh, off the debt? No, oh, hell yeah, it pays off the debt. <laughs> he reaches over. Oh, yeah. He grabs it, and he goes, He fixed my pistol. You know, we attach this here to one of these speeders, and, man, we actually have a little bit of firepower. Now, granted, they got to get really close. Maybe we can modify that and give it a little extra range. Let's see what we can do and play around with this thing. And he starts mumbling to himself and starts fidgeting around. And as he's twisting this thing around in circles, you see mechanics that are, Whoa, whoa, they don't even know if it's loaded or <laughs> it's not. It's okay. There is no bullets. <laughs> He's totally enamored by this thing. Okay? We, did, we did not bring any ammunition. We don't have any. <laughs> but we don't, hey man, we don't we have We barely any. made it out by the skin of our butts. We well, don't care. We could fashion <laughs> some ammunition. That'll be kind of interesting thing. Let's see, what do we need? We need some power cells and we need a couple of these. And he starts naming off some chemicals and a whole bunch of other stuff. And there's a couple of mechanics that are around him that are like, and they start walking off in different directions. <laughs> like, do I recognize oh, any of these? Uh, no, you do no, not. No. no, you do not. Um, so from there, you know, I guess you guys are kind of heading back in towards mm -hmm. uh, towards main operations, right? Um, and down the hallway, you see that familiar red-headed little boy. And he's kind of going back and forth between one of the conference rooms. And people are coming out of the conference room and... You know, um, that's pretty much what you're you're seeing from him. Is it looks like he's kind of escorting people into different places. And one of the people, as just not even a few moments later, you see Captain Pike coming out of his office, headed over towards one of the conference rooms. Pike. Hey, man, Pike. 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 No, oh, you hold her back. We should go in your office. <laughs> yeah, I think Bronson we... has a good one. What? <laughs> a good office. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll put the code of silence. <laughs> no, but seriously, we should go in your office. Yeah, I think we should. For a lot of reasons. Yeah, I agree. Where's your... Uh... Where's your compadre? We'll talk about that in your office. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Well, right this way, gentlemen. Let me uh, let me go cancel my other meeting here. So he opens his office door and shows you guys in and walks across the hall to a conference room. And you kind of see him poke his head in and say, uh, Guys, we're going to have to reschedule this one. And he turns around and walks back in and closes the door behind him. You, they know. And they know about you, man. They know you. They, they know, know about him. all these. They know him. They know Bob. They know Bronson. <clears throat> but also, we did get a list of 
Imperium. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First off, people are a premium here. Where's your partner? He did not make it back. What happened to him? He was uh, disrupted. Excuse me? He's dead. He seemed dead. to know one of the security personnel at West End. Devorian something. He was... One moment. Did not call for Siri. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, could have fooled me. <laughs> Who is uh, the Siri you're talking about? Is that an ally? I don't know. I think I heard him say that name. We could not... Uh, he knew he knew one of the security personnel and... Uh, he was they shut did down. know each other. They did. Okay, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me that you made it into the facility. Yes. And he was killed. Yes. He didn't make it out. By somebody that he knows. <clears throat> that we don't think necessarily. Okay, I have a problem here, guys. They did <clears throat> not know us. Where is he? Dewey? He's dead. He's at the West End. He's in pieces. And the moment you say he's at West End, Captain Pike covers his eyes, starts rubbing his forehead, and he goes, you know, part of a clandestine operation is not leaving somebody there that can point them back to you. I know y'all are new to this, I but you just put up, everybody at risk. I stand up and put my hands on his desk. Maybe you should not send 15-year-old children for your dirty work, Pike. 15-year-old children who are not within our databases are the only way we're going to get the information. But each exactly. one of you received training on how and what to do. Yes. There was no chance of us saving him. With, if we okay, how, how did this play out? <clears throat> okay, you stand there, you have disruptor pistol. You pointed at me, blow my chest out. I have choice of getting shot with we another did. disruptor pistol or going into the turbine lift. We did everything <clears throat> that we possibly could do. We we got information on the inside of West End's facility. We, we are disrupted really cool speeders. We I know Jovell messaged me and said you guys got some golden stuff. So we I'm willing did. to overlook some of this gaff here, but No, it's not gaff. It is unluck. <clears throat> We turned off their cameras. We put them in a loop. They could not find us. We memorized their entire security plan. We went into the internal servers, copied the information. No one even smelled us there. And on our way out, this man that Dewey knew, I think, I think he called him teacher. I think it was the person that taught him things. Wait, wait, wait. What did he look like? He was wearing to the worry. West End armor. Okay, so I'll just say this from a general general role play perspective. You guys kind of give this okay. yeah, description yeah. of his physical his divorce being, and um, ugly, and uh, and he just shot wait, wait, Deborian, and he called him teacher. Yes. Okay. And he goes back to rubbing his forehead, and you can just see the wrinkles in his head, just like. You know this? Oh. You know this man? Okay. You know him? Carrick. Don't know, but he was a tough son of a gun. Carrick is an operative of ours. <clears throat> and you're saying he took out Dewey? Yes. Not in a good way. <laughs> did he do anything as you guys were fleeing? How, how did he kill him? With a disruptor pistol. pistol. Which we took from him, but he had another one. Did he do anything else? <clears throat> no, this is important, guys. Did he do anything else? Remember I told you he got over him with a knife, and he was slitting his throat and doing something else as you guys were trying okay. to escape. <clears throat> so we tell him that. I hope he followed protocol. What? He's working okay. for you? He killed Dewey and he's working for you? Not directly for me, but he is a rebel. Why, if we had all of those bases covered, why would he still kill one of us? Why would he kill Dewey? 
You guys come What's to up my with that? Well, no, no, no. No, you don't get off of this. Why did he kill Thuy? Why were there two of us on mission? In the I don't place? have his information in front of me, but what I can tell you is the only reason why he would kill another rebel operative is if for some reason that rebel operative was going to compromise him. Now, if you, what you're telling me is true, and he took a disruptor pistol out, or a disruptor, and he blew a hole clean in his chest, and then turned around mm -hmm. and you said he went after him with a knife while he was down on the ground? Yes. The only thing I can think of is that he was removing any and all facial capabilities of being able to be identified, which would point them back to you. Black Sun being able to find you because they would very easily find an authorian walking through some of their camera sets. But why would he kill him? He yes. was a teacher, why would he kill him? That makes no sense, it's crazy. This whole thing is crazy. I can't tell you what the details of his mission are. All I can tell you is maybe you should seek him out and find out why. If it oh, bothers yes, you that bad, look for the spy that killed our friend. That sounds like a good plan. You know what? I don't I think it's a good like idea. I, th I think he would definitely be amenable. I'd to like to yeah. shove a thermal thermal detonator up his <laughs> rear end. Yes, put it in his glory hole. <laughs> Pike is Pike is kind of kicking back, not really That's like not in a relaxed cool. situation. That's not cool, man. No, it's not cool. But why would he have to kill him anyway? I mean, he he, he knew. It was there, man. He knew that. Did he know that your security was overridden? I don't he know. let us go. He did let us go. That was weird. He did he let, let us, us go. go. <clears throat> yeah, that is weird. Because if he saw one of you as a threat, why wouldn't he see all three of you as a threat? I don't know. Maybe because he trained Thuy and he knew what he was capable of, but not us. But he saw us. He could have handled. He was. He was all right, pretty all right, tough. Look. He could have handled us. He could, man. That I'll tell you what. I'll put out cool. an inquiry. I'll find out from the cell that he operates from because it may be need to know exactly what he's doing But over they there. know. They got your names. What are you going to do? Who has our names? The, they've Show got him. West End. <clears throat> and I West will... End or Black Sun? Both. Well, Black Sun. They we work... pulled it off of West End's server, but they Black Sun. They are working hand in hand. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Let, let's 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 work on this debrief here, guys. And as he says, as as he goes through and starts trying to get some information from you, that is where we're going to call this a session. All right. And with that, guys, if you're on the stream, we're going to take a quick five-minute break and come back for our last session of the evening. Um, if not, um, and you are watching this live, or not? Sorry, apologize. Not watching it live, but if you're watching this on. Uh, our YouTube from our weekly posts, then we will see you again next week and keep on adventuring.